right, hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Jake here from WeFlick. Now today it's a trout opening. We're struggling to get the fish. They're following our lures, but we can't seem to hook them up. Anyway, Chris is a fish in this pool here, and we thought why not sit down and do a bit of a product video. Because we've been doing a lot of uh, river fishing lately over the last year, due to the uh, mishaps we've had with our vessel, uh, yeah, we've been using a lot of different types of lures. So this is one that's definitely stood out to me, or the standout for me, I must say. Uh, manufacturer is Nori's. Oh, Chris has got a big tree. You see, they catch stuff. Not fish, they catch trees. Big one, Chris? Oh, you, got, oh, you dropped it. Can't, can't get the fish, can't get the trees. Crazy. I don't even know why anyone listens to us. Anyway, the uh, where was I? Nori's, that's right. So the manufacturer is Nori's, and the model is a lay-down minnow. It comes in a deep running also, this is the shallow running. The deep runs to around about two metres, the shallow you'll get it to run to about one metre, depending if you're working your rod down or up. You work it up and you need to keep it up. Say you're fishing water, it might be 400, 400 mil or so. Just because it's rated to a metre doesn't mean it has to swim in a metre. If you rod tip up, rod, work your rod tip up, it's going to keep the angle higher, keep your, rod, keep your lure higher up in that water column. If you want to work it down to its max depth, rod tip down to force the angle down to get it working lower in the column. Anywho, now I think a lot of people will know this already, already know the lay down minnow. Some of them will swear by them because they go out and they've got a fair few on the tackle box. Some of them won't know about them and some of them will say they're too expensive. Now on the expensive note, you, there, you do pay for quality and one thing you, you do get from the Norries is uh, out of the box quality and consistency. The one thing uh, I'm pretty crazy about is the consistency of lures because there's nothing worse than buying a lure, chucking it in the water and all of a sudden it starts tracking out and you've got to come out and start tuning it up. I mean the thing's brand new, it shouldn't happen and with Norries it doesn't happen. Had no issues whatsoever on that note. Terminal tackle, beautiful. Now you're going to have to forgive me here because I'm not sure if it's owner or decoy but anyone that knows terminal tackle will know that owner or decoy is high quality stuff so you're happy there. So as far as terminal tackle goes, you're laughing. As far as out of the box quality comes, tuning and tracking straight, perfect. Length, 59 mil. Casting weight, I think it's again around about three and a half gram, but when you, so light, lure, most people that be flicking this sort of stuff are gonna be light line applications, 10 pound, six pound, four pound and under. So uh, when you've got that light sort, of, light sort of finesse tackle, you're casting these things a mile. Now, as far as colors go, the one I've got in my hand right now is the BR63 or, 60, or 74, one or the other. Would, put, would have to be the most um, popular colour by far. Rarely in stock because they go like hotcakes. I don't think I've got them in stock now. But by the time this video airs, maybe it will. So you'll have to check for that and that's at weflickfishing.com. We've got around about 10 colours to the range. So there's a fair few to choose from. All sorts of uh, you know transparent colours and trout patterns and whatnot. So uh, there's definitely a colour in there for all anglers. Everyone's got their little, you know, favour on what, what colours they look, sort of like. Uh, but yeah, they are a very consistent consistent lure. Its action is very well, it's a nice slow wobble. And again, it doesn't track out much. It's really good for this sort of running water as well. You can cast into the running water. The water will move along, but as you're pulling it through, it'll keep its track straight instead of veering off and sort of starting to do loops and that. So. Again, look, they are a very expensive lure. They're around about $31, which is reasonably cheap. That's what we sell them for. It was pretty good for their price, but they can go anywhere up to $36. But I mean, look, they're a lot for it, but again, uh, there's, a price, there's a price to pay for quality and we're happy to pay it. So, you know, anyone that hasn't used it, I, I do advise to at least get out and have a crack at one of them because they are definitely one of the best lures at the market to date as far as its model, you know, being a shallow running minnow. They're just very consistent. A lot of, uh, a lot of anglers do are pretty serious with angling. I've used them, will vouch for them, and I'll, I'll, uh, I can back that just by knowing it's a fucking great lure. And I just said the F word. But we just beeped that out. Anyway, I'm not going to talk too much longer. Uh, I hope this uh, video has been a little bit educational for you. Other than that, I'm Jake. That's Chris. He catches trees. I don't catch fish. And that's about it. Have fun. See you later. Yeah.